All right, so what is going on, guys? BP Hero back at you. Last review for 2020 bats. And then you will be seeing the best of 2020 probably early next week. But I want to kind of throw this in there at the beginning of this video just to let you know now. We are a bunch of potty mouths in this video. Um, <clears throat> just kind of went into this video with a sense of humor. Didn't really expect much out of the bat. And we were just kind of clowning around acting like goofballs. Turns out the bat was actually pretty good. If you want to see what it looks like, just swing a bait and axe with the handle backwards in your hands. Watch the video. You want to see what it looks like for the BP hero to swing a bat baseball rip style for the first time in like five years? Watch the video. I was a little surprised. You want to see one of the furthest balls I've ever hit in my life, coincidentally enough, happened to be with a bait and axe. You're going to want to watch the video. But I just want to throw this in there that... It's gonna be kind of a spacey review. It's long, it's lengthy. I left it uncut so you can hear us talking and kind of BSing and carrying on through some of it. I'll be popping in and out through the voiceover and stuff like that still. But <laughs> I do feel like it is worth sitting through and watching. So I encourage you to check it out. Thanks for stopping in and checking it out. And now, on to the video. Right. I can't even... Dude, even the rapper's weird on this thing. It won't come off. You know what? Forget it. It's better AR dynamics. The bait and the axe. Even the end cap is messed up looking. I, I, I don't know what to do with this information. Like, it's going to be weird. You're probably not safe where you are because like I usually drop two pinkies off the bat and I can't do that with this thing because of the handle so I'm not really sure what's gonna happen here and uh I always play the game of nose goes to BP I got the shit into the stick today so I'm up first hitting this thing and for those that are curious obviously the, the handle it is meant to be used with your hand in one way. And they do design the barrel to uh, kind of withstand being hit on one side more than the other. Uh, maybe we'll get weird and hit the other side and see what happens. I don't really know. But I've had tons of requests for the Baden Axe. Baden even says on their Facebook page, it's hot. I mean, if you read it on the internet, it's gotta be true. So just hitting some quick specs here to get started with this thing. This thing is a two-piece. It has a composite handle with a composite barrel. The barrel is a 13-inch, and it has a full ounce of inload. This bat is a 27-ounce, and it did swing true to weight as far as inloading and being a 27 goes. It is approved for U-Triple-SA play. They do have other offerings. I believe there's an ASA and a dual stamp, but this one is U-Trip only. And it is like a 40-degree day here. It is wicked cold outside i'm dumb and i'm wearing short sleeves the balls were in the trunk all night long we really didn't have a whole lot of expectation going into this thing so we just kind of thought what the hell let's see what happens to it if we just beat the crap out of it and you're going to witness that Yeah, 
you feel like you can't hit like a fucking bat with a weird handle. Dude, no fucking wonder your hands are all fucked up. If you had that thing on the other side, like. No, no, no. I didn't have it on the other side. No, I, I just had it clocked wrong. I had it oh. like not, I had it like. You had a you. quarter. You had it like a quarter turn. Right? Yeah. Oh yeah, she's full sin now. Tell if it's the knob or it's me not being able to drop my fingers. Just, I pissed you so long. That's a mannerism I've never seen happen when you were hitting, where you're just like. <laughs> well, I'm thinking like palm up, palm down. Where would it be? Yes, this is the distance claim. Yes, I hate distance claims with a dying passion. I was surprised to see how far this ball went. Yes, it's cold outside. Yes, we're hitting hard balls. But I've hit lots of other bats with hard balls in the cold, and I haven't hit a ball as far as I did this one. This was where we found the ball. So clearly it didn't go the 452 in the air. And there is a bit of a drop-off behind the field that's going to add distance to that. But regardless, you're still looking at 400-plus and... My fat ass just don't hit a ball that far that often. So when I do it, I usually notice it. Not gonna lie. Barrel feels good. It really does. It's 40 degree day, balls in the trunk, whatever. It feels good. I'll, I'll, I'll admit it. You're just trying to figure, figure out the hand. Trust your hands and just go through it. My man's went deep since. Dang it, one more. <laughs> right. It's legit like 40 degrees right now. Those balls been in my trunk all night. But all, all variables considered, it, it's not bad. I'm not going to lie. It feels almost like an all push bat to me. Maybe it is. Yeah, see, there's one. It's a difference in sound. But look how I have to fucking hold it. Yeah, that's Yeah, see, I know, but that still didn't, that, that didn't 
Jim has your sound team. You told me some pretty hard shit, let's be honest. I like watching that, yeah. <laughs> So my main man, Brian, getting a few swings in with this thing. He's been super clutch to help me out with all these reviews. I always like to get, try and get a few of his swings in there too, just so we can get a different look at other people swinging these bats. He's been in a lot of these videos lately, and this was definitely a bat that was a question mark for a lot of us. So since he's been swinging the other stuff, we have a good comparison of what his swings look like, so I wanted to throw his swings in here as well. He did also agree with me that uh, the barrel on this thing is good, but the handle just weird. Too good. Oh, good. How cool is that? Yeah. I don't know, count them. I don't know. 80 swings, maybe? So, yeah. Mix of balls, 40 degree temps. Still passes compression, actually. Uh, I'll put the picture up right here. Um, we have figured out that it's for sure just a matter of focusing on striking the ball uh, just to make sure you know you're getting it off of basically this strip of the bat I mean literally the sweet spot feels like it's between the bottom of this and the bottom of that like that's that's really uh, all there is to it it's like a couple of the longest balls I hit last round were just like at 75% and focusing on just hitting it off of here because like I'm thinking way too much about my hands because this knob so it just tells me one thing that i really do suck but i can hit a ball far on accident all right so in all honesty guys this will be the so this will be the last part of my swings here in the last part of this video it's going to kind of run out for yeah, a little bit. Right it's going to give me a chance to talk, so I'm going to do so. In all honesty, this bat did perform well. Yes, it was cold outside. Yes, we were hitting hard balls. But like I said, I've hit enough of this stuff, and I've done this for long enough to know what a good bat feels like no matter the conditions. And performance-wise, I did feel like this bat did well. The sweet spot was a tad small and completely went away as you worked towards the end. If you live in the absolute middle of the barrel a lot, then you won't have any issues missing the sweet spot. And it is pretty dang good when you do hit it. I know I keep mentioning that, but I do want to put emphasis on the fact that uh, I did kind of get sucked into the hype of the performance of this thing a little bit. And it pains me to say that because I, I hate getting sucked into hype. But we did have fun swinging this thing just based on the performance. Get rid of this stupid handle. And I think you could have a pretty damn good bat here. I do genuinely think that this handle is going to benefit somebody that swings with a traditional baseball style grip the most, but in the slow pitch game, I feel like it's just a crutch to patching a problem instead of fixing it. I'm going to hush up and let you check the rest of it out, see what it looks like when you swing one of these things backwards, check out these baseball swings. I appreciate you guys stopping in and checking out the video. Swing hard in case you hit it, and I'll see you next time. Yeah, I didn't snap again. That was Oh, good news. It's a hyper whip in cap. <laughs> I thought you were actually going to tell me something worth a fuck. Oh, yeah, that's what it is here. You're being a smart ass. Now we're ready. Oh!
Fuck it. Let's see what it does. Can it hurt? <laughs> Alright, do it again. That thing's gonna come out of your hands if you don't hold it right. Yeah, go back to normal. <laughs> Alright, kids, hold it the other way. I jinxed your ass. <laughs> First time I've swung a bat, traditional, in probably five years. Really? Yeah. Melted cue. Probably the hardest ball I've hit today. So, here's the deal. If any of you have swung like the Boom Ball Boss U-Trip line or something like the Dooley, that's exactly what this sounds and feels like barrel-wise. Like, I genuinely mean it when I say this bet hits the hell out of the ball as long as you get it in the right spot. I really think they'd be onto something if they could figure out how to make a traditional bat get it to perform like this uh, without the handle and, and I think they're really onto something and I will say I'll overlap overlap my hands like I said you talked about it earlier so this pinky's off and depending on the bat and the knob I'll even drop this one but I tried dropping here and then bringing these these two over the top and it just it just didn't jive like I went back to like a baseball style swing First time I've swung a bat traditionally in like five years. And it, I mean, it was like consistent bang, 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 bang. So I, I think personally, if you overlap, it, it's not gonna work very well. But if you use like a traditional baseball style grip, it'll, it'll treat you well. Um, thanks to Squish for getting this for us. I know there's been a ton of interest in this thing. I tried to have a little fun with it. Um, it, it surprised me. I really had no interest in this thing going in, but uh, I, I will say I'm impressed. It, it's still passing compression, believe it or not, it's still passing compression on a 40 degree day, hitting literally anything, you, you name it, it's in the bag. So um, hats off to Baden for making a, a good bat. I won't say a great bat, but a good bat. And uh, it definitely surprised me. The I won't say the hype is real, but I don't know. If you got money to blow, try one out. Headbangersports.com, code BP Hero.